file mga anak. Kamusta na ulit kayo? Let us recall our last topic, different types of plate boundary. Convergent plate boundary, divergent plate boundary, transform fault plate boundary. So when you say convergent plate boundary, two plates are colliding. In divergent plate boundary, two plates are moving apart. And in transform fault plate boundary, plates slide each other. And in convergent plate boundary, it can be oceanic to continental, oceanic to oceanic, or continental to continental. After learning the different types of plate boundaries, let us now explore the various effects of plate tectonics on Earth's litosphere. What are the different processes that occur along plate boundaries? Once again, we have heard the oceanic crust and the continental crust. It is clear that this event gave rise to the formation of the volcano at the edge of the continental crust. The denser oceanic crust subduct or bend towards the mantle. What do you call it process? Yes, it is subduction. Since the mantle is hotter than the crust, subducted crust melts forming magma. It will rise up causing volcanic activities. For oceanic crust, one important geologic feature form is the trench or submarine trench, considered as the deepest part of the ocean. Like the first type of convergent boundaries, converging oceanic plates will cause formation of trenches. The leaping edge of subducted plate will eventually reach the mantle, causing it to melt and turn it to magma. The molten material will rise up to the surface, creating a volcanic island arc parallel to the trench. An example is the Mariana Trench. This trench lies in an area where the two of the Earth's plates come together, the Pacific Plate and the Philippine Plate. For an additional information, the Philippine Trench, also Philippine Deep, Mindanao Trench or Mindanao Deep is the fourth deepest trench in the world. And of course, we have there the Manila Trench. Which one is an island and archipelago? Yes, you are correct. And Philippines is an example of an archipelago. Island formation or archipelago formation is due to the tectonic activity. It's either the oceanic plates move away from each other or two oceanic plates collide. Many parts of the Philippines originated from the convergence of oceanic plates. So we have your plate A and plate B. If the edge of plate B suddenly flicks upward, there will be large amount of water may be displaced. And what could be formed at the surface of the ocean? Yes, that is tsunami. And it happened because there is continuous grinding of plates against each other. And there will be formation of geologic event called as an earthquake. So that is also the same thing when the continental plates converge to ocean plates. There will be also an earthquake. What if two continental crusts converge? No subduction. No trench, no volcano, no island arc are created here. Instead, what is created is a large group of mountains called as mountain range. An example is the collision of Indian plate and Eurasian plate. Pressure is released by pushing the crust upward and forming the Himalaya peak, and it is associated with shallow earthquake activities. Let us have now divergence of plates. 
it rises, mantle rocks migrate upward, formation of reef valley, new crust is created by the intruding magma as the plate moves upward. Geologic feature formed as the plates diverge is the reef valley, and it increases its length and depth as the spreading continues. At this point, the valley develops into linear sea or Red Sea today. This is the satellite image of the Red Sea Lake Valley. In the case for the Red Sea, the two plates moving apart, the African plate and the Arabian plate. Most divergent boundaries are situated along underwater mountain ranges called oceanic ridges. In transform fault boundaries, if two massive plates move a different direction, tremendous pressure builds up and plates slip past. Huge rock in earth known as fault line will develop where the tectonic plates meet. For example, California's San Andreas Fault, where the Pacific tectonic plate forms most of the seafloor of the Pacific Ocean and the North American Tectonic Plate, which most of the American continent is located. Let us now summarize our topic. According to the plate tectonics model, the entire lithosphere of the Earth is broken into numerous segments called plates. Each plate is slowly but continuously moving. As a result of the motion of plates, Three types of plate boundaries were formed, convergent, divergent, and transform fault boundaries. Plate tectonics give rise to several geologic features, volcano, trench, volcanic island arc, reef valley, ocean ridges, mountain ranges. And as the plates converge and diverge, geologic events occur, called earthquake. Although that the oceanic crust is more dense than continental crust, it's subduct. Process called subduction. Hanggang dito na lang uli mga anak. Salamat. Hanggang sa muli, kasusunod natin tayo